Frederick, happy Thanksgiving. Ha. Please don't slam the door again. We have a bit of a medical situation. Well, I wish I could help, but unfortunately, I have a bit of a wooden duck situation. Excuse me, what now? Still on about the duck, Frederick? Years ago, when we moved in together, an antique duck decoy of his was misplaced. It wasn't misplaced. You threw it in the trash. And with it, our relationship. Oh, please. We had other problems. Or have you forgotten about Dave? Dave and I were co-workers and nothing more. Nothing more, right? Problem solved, everybody's friends. Let's go help Sharon. I would be happy to assist you if you will just admit, Raymond, that you threw my decoy in the garbage. That will never happen because it's not true. Thank you for nothing. Good day. Stop, 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 stop! NYPD! NYPD, I need to commandeer this vehicle. It's a crossover. It's a crossover SUV, and you can't have it. I'm a cop. Can you please get out of the car? No, this is Schmidt's mom's car, and I'm more scared of her than I am of some two-bit thug. I'm not a thug. I'm police. OK, then name one law. Don't kill people? That's on me. I set the bar too low. Look, can you please just get out? OK, you can drive, but I'm not getting out. Also, I have the seat warmer on. I don't just have a really hot butt. Doesn't matter to me. A perp is getting away. Oh, it's very hot. I can't believe this is happening. Thanks a lot, New York. You know what? If your city's so great, then how come it's not the state capital? But who cares about the state's capital? This is the concrete jungle where dreams are made of. That doesn't sound right. Where dreams are made of? I don't know. You tell me. It's your dumb city. It's grammatically odd. Whatever. I'm sure wherever you're from has strange songs written about it, too. Los Angeles? Damn it, all the songs there are so good. We have a plan. OK, here are the ground rules. You can punch me, kick me, pull my hair. I am A-OK -okay being stabbed. Biting and scratching are on the table. You can use fire. These are the ground rules? Is there anything off limits? Damn, man. You got something really sick you want to do, huh? No, oh, you little pervert. All right, I like it. Don't tell me, surprise me. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. For all to Santiago, you'll be happy to know that I did not erase the server. Oh, thank God. But sad to know that Knox caught on and is now holding me at gunpoint. Why not lead with that? Nobody has to get hurt. Just put your guns down and put your hands in the air. Hey! He said put your guns down and get your hands in the air. The bread, it's gonna burn. Guys, do what he says. I'll buy you all the garlic bread you want. We're gonna hold you to that, Sarge. Knox, you're pointing a gun at an NYPD captain. Have you really thought this through? This is not my fault. You were supposed to be at the dentist. What? How did you? You called me. He called me. He said he had a tip for the officer in charge of the Avery murder. I said I could meet any time except for this morning because of the dentist. I had it all planned out. Guess you didn't count on my foam mouth. Yeah, that's right. It's crippling. Oh, picking a weird time, but I'm glad you're finally owning it. What's going on? You can't just come in here. We have a warrant. Boom! And that's a real one, not a prop. Or have you forgotten the difference, even when it comes to people? What? People is me. You used me like a prop. I thought it was pretty clear. Rosa got it. Nope. Detectives, you don't know what you're talking about. Found it. Well, look at that. Security cam caught you breaking into Cassie's trailer and walking off with this backpack. You know what? You Hollywood types make me sick. Detective? For the record, your show stinks. I've watched over 200 episodes of it, and I've never liked one. Open the bag, detective. Happy to. I can't wait to see the look on your face when I pull out Cassie's computer. Just a bunch of pills. Cassie has a painkiller problem. The show tries to protect her from herself. That's why I was surprised she called the cops. But thanks for busting in here and telling me how much you hate my show. And scene. And that was a great example of a cop making a mistake. That's the kind of thing we can go over more when I come in on Monday for my first day of work. You know, you can forget about the job. But you're still gonna name a character after me? Dustin, it's been a while. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Well, well, well. If it isn't Joe Peralta. <laughs> That's it, you're under arrest! Look what I found. Do you like it, Jake? Uh, yes, I love it. Real Cruella de Vil vibes. No, 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 I'm not Cruella de Vil. I would never hurt dogs. I'm Perdita. Who? The romantic lead of the film. Pongo's wife. The girl dog. Yes, yes. <laughs> of course, you look exactly like Perdita. Oh my god, thank you so much. Hey, Debbie, hmm? do you like Nick Cage movies? I don't know who that is. Only the greatest and most compelling actor of all time. What are his movies like? Describe them. Okay, well, one of them is the FBI has developed face swapping technology. Not 
interested. There's a whole plane full of convicts. Nope. On the back of the original Declaration of Independence, there's a hidden treasure map. Stop. But that's the smartest one! Okay, this is gonna be my mantle shot. So every time mom and dad look at it, they'll be reminded of what David did. I would say you should chill out, but this is actually making me feel great about my family, so let's dive in. <laughs> Everybody say, possession with intent to distribute. Hey. Oh. Ah, David, hi there. That was unrelated to your recent arrest for possession with intent to distribute. How are you? Not great. Yeah, jail is rough. You gotta go poop in front of everyone. I remember when I was in prison, I held it for weeks, and when I finally did go, it was. You know what, Jake? This isn't about you. So, David, did you get fired, or is there gonna be, like, a hearing? She's asking so she can be there to support you. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't miss it. I'm so excited. To support you. That's what I said. I'm really looking forward to being there. To support you. Yeah, we're saying the same thing. I am pumped this is happening. All right, babe, maybe your brother doesn't want to talk about what happened. Let's just go. Oh, it's okay, I owe you guys an explanation. I actually started doing drugs when I was a teenager. You know how mom and dad put so much pressure on us? Eventually, I just kind of cracked. Wait. You felt pressure? You always seem to effortlessly thrive at everything. I'm so jealous, but knowing that you also felt the pressure. All right, pressure... you can drop the act. I just didn't know who was listening. What act now? Everything I've said before just now is a lie. I'm being framed. I've been investigating these dirty cops who are being paid off by the Brazilian mob. Oh, Brazilian mobsters are so good looking. They're just a bunch of Giselles, the women and the men. Yes, it's insane. They're all gorgeous. <gasps> I got five down. I figured out the theme. It's boats. OK, I get it. She's smart and lovable. You're scrappy and lovable. Together, you're just lovable and lovable. OK, so where's this hitman, Judy? Look, I don't know who they sent, but he's on the boat. Check out this manifest. Somebody boarded in San Juan named Henry Coles. Henry Street and Coles Street. That's the corner of your old chop shop in Brooklyn. This is an alias. Mm -hmm. And my porter buddy checked out Henry Coles' cabin. He hasn't been in it yet. He's hiding somewhere on his boat, ready to jump out and kill me at any moment. Probably creeping around in my closet. Or stowed away in a lifeboat. Or hiding in a wall. Or holed up in the engine room. Camouflage in the shrubbery. Predator, Predator style. style. All right, no. We are not having fun. You will not suck me in with your wily charms. Dillman never talks first when he's in the box. Well, Rosa never initiates conversation of any kind. Guys, I really have to get out of here. Somebody please say something to get it started. No. And there it is. Now that I have the upper hand, let's get started. Stupid Terry and his stupid kids. You were the only suspect who did not go out for lunch. But if you were eating at your desk, how did you not see the perpetrator plant the glitter bomb? I wasn't at my desk. I was in the break room. Oh, the break room. That explains it. I guess we're done here. Oh, here comes the Dillman double back. Just a double back. Oh, my. He actually said the words. What a treat. If you were in the break room. Hello, Chunk. <laughs> Heard you want your sperm. You're gonna have to go through me. Oh, no. This is way worse than the male thing. What male thing? Nothing. There's no male thing. There's no male thing. But it's my sperm. How did you even find out I wanted it? Because it counts under my name. Storage facility called me saying that you were looking to make a withdrawal, so I went ahead and withdrew it for you. I have all of your sperm. But you don't even care about it, Eleanor. I mean, remember? Oh, hey, Charles. I'll never have a baby with you because I don't love you, and a child's not gonna fix that. Oof. When we started doing the silly voice, I thought it was going to be more fun, but it wasn't. Well, I do not want your DNA. I want something else. I hit some dumbass with my car. Now he's suing me. What I want is for you to use your badge and your gun to intimidate him into dropping the case. Wow, that is so very illegal. He's not doing that. I don't care. You have 48 hours to do so, or I'm going to take your sperm, and I'm going to dump it into the East River. Please don't do that. And there will never be the possibility of a little pie-faced Charles Boyle Jr. Proud of it, it's me. I've never seen these before in my life. This was filled three days ago. This doctor must be treating you for your- Finding Dory disease. That's what most people call enterograde amnesia. Just, Just keep swimming. Exactly, that's what I tell my patients. Just keep swimming. So what do you think caused Pimento's memory loss? Probably years of repeated head trauma. I've been working as a neurologist for over two decades, and I have never seen a patient with more traumatic head injuries. Wow, well, doesn't look so bad. The red is the good parts. Oh, my god. Oh, man, these look spicy. We may die tonight. You know, I actually heard about a guy who died while eating hot wings. Really? Yeah, he was terminally ill beforehand, though, unrelated. <laughs> I always thought I'd die at the hands of my own clone. Well, that's why you have to brand the number two into your clone's cheek. You shouldn't have a clone if you don't know that. Yes. All right, you ready? Ready. Here we go. 
It's nothing. Amateur night. I can't believe this had three peppers next to it on the menu. Oh my god! Oh! Ah. Oh, hot! Oh, so spicy! Drink the ranch! Drink the ranch! Yeah! Oh. Good afternoon, may I help you? Uh, we're here all the time. Get familiar with these faces or get familiar with the unemployment line. I'm so sorry, but I have to check you in. I need a member number. I don't have my member number with me. It's too bad you can't just use my Amex black card. Oh, that's great. We can use that. You can. Well, you think I carry around my own wallet? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. If you could just give me a name, that would be great. I'll give you a name. Pomplamoose Lacroix. I'm so sorry, Miss LaCroix. You're not in the system. This is ridiculous. You know what? Call Daddy. Daddy will get us in. Daddy, the man won't let us into the club. Oh. Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. No. Daddy wants to speak with you. Gladly. Hello, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. No, Daddy. Daddy. Oh, well, good question, Daddy. Daddy wants to get this young man fired. What is your first and last name? <laughs> uh... You know what? Forget about it. You can just go on up. Fantastic. Oh, no. Heads up, fire marshal. Oh, Boone, what's that Nimrod doing here? Hey, Peralta. Hey, Boone. What are you doing here, you Nimrod? Uh, there was a fire. Big question is, what are you doing here? What, did somebody call in a missing donut? Uh, actually, someone reported they couldn't find your head, but we found it. It was up your butt. You're a fireman. You should know how to treat that burn. Joke's on you, because this is a fire, which means it is fire department jurisdiction. So why don't you back off and let New York's bravest handle it? You know they only call you that because New York's best at spraying stuff with water is too wordy. <laughs> oh, well, it's too bad we all can't be as awesome as New York's finest, which, by the way, Sounds like my mom describing her dishware, which, and, and she's dead, so let's tread lightly on the response. That's not fair. OK, that is nothing. The one parent-teacher conference my dad went to, he had sex with my teacher on top of the diorama I made of the first Thanksgiving. Oh, no, he ruined all your hard work. Oh, not really. It was just a bunch of Smurfs on a plate. He came to visit once and hooked up with my mom's entire book club. She can't see a copy of A Prayer for Owen Meany without fully weeping. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But enough about our dad. What's going on in your life? Honestly, it's been a tough year. I lost my job, and the love of my life, Kurt, just broke up with me. Oh, hey, Amy has seven brothers. Maybe you could date one of them. Oh, snap. I'm down to clown. Which one has the best body? Uh... Tony, right? It's very clearly Tony. I don't know why she hesitated. Tony got body. Tony it is. Anyway, that's my boring life in Dallas, but... I'm here now, and I want to see the real New York. Let's, like... Walk across the Brooklyn Bridge? Get tanked at the Times Square Olive Garden and get our pictures taken with a human statue. Right. The real New York. Whenever you're ready. Hey, let me get dinner. I had, like, ten more drinks than you guys. Oh, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Wow, that is so sweet and totally unnecessary. What are you doing? Life hack. Hey, there's glass in my food! Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. What kind of restaurant is this? Excuse me, Mr. Chandra Sekar. We wanted to talk to you about Nutriboom. All right, boom, boom, guys. Boom, boom, boom. We're with the NYPD. Oh my God, seriously? You guys have to save me. Can you get me out? What's that now? Nutriboom is a scam and a cult. They've ruined my life. Really? You look so happy in the videos. You'd pretend to be happy too if you knew what they did to me. Testicular torture. Yeah. I know you think you're badasses, but deep down you're scared. How do I know? Because I've been that same scared kid. And if you don't get your crap together. I'm gonna end up busting you and throwing you in jail. Got it? Remix, yo. Throwing you in jail. Throwing you in jail. Got it? Throwing you in jail. What's happening? I think they're laughing at you. That's never happened before. I don't like it. Bleepnos! No. What? Yeah. You played violin at my wedding. You're Bleepnos. No. My name is Jerry. Jerry Barfala just done. What? Well, it doesn't matter. I need your help. Can you please hand me the keys that are down there? Yeah, yeah, yes. Thank you, I love keys. Oh, and this is for you. What? As they say in my country, a chicky for a key. Right. And what country is that again? Honolulu. Okay. You know, if it's all the same, I'd really just rather have the key. You don't want chicky? I don't want key. Oh, perfect. Yes! Thank you, Malip Nos. No, it's Jerry. Parkankin, that son. I feel like maybe you said it a little different the first time. Damn, Neil deGrasse Tyson! How are you doing that? It's physics, Terry. It's physics. Hey, what's going on?
going on? Why is the FDNY in our cop bar? We needed a new place since our bar, O'Brien's, burned down. You couldn't put that out? They probably started it. Most arsonists turn out to be firefighters. That's not true, though it is very common and definitely what happened in this case. I'm surprised you guys even want to come here since you have to take the stairs. I know how much you like sliding on poles. We don't like sliding on poles. We do it to save lives. It's dangerous. You can ask my best friend, Steve. Oh, no, wait. You can't, actually, because he's dead. Tripped through a pole hole, broke his neck. That's horrible. <laughs> Sorry, but this is a firefighter bar now. Although we might want to make some changes to the decor. I'm thinking some old-timey pressure gauges. Maybe an autographed photo of Dennis Leary from Rescue Me. You wouldn't. Wouldn't I? Check it out. You son of a bitch. Some Russian oligarch got the penthouse, but this is the second nicest room. Surprise! Trudy, Judy, what you doing here? I thought you were in prison. No, nope, I was a real sweet piece, so they let me out for good behavior. What the hell? What's this narc doing here? What? What the hell was that? You almost blew my cover. Yeah, they're all suspicious now. You have to help us convince them that Jake's not a cop. Why? I don't understand why you invited him. This is supposed to be a crazy weekend of boobs and butts. Judy, Judy, you're not gonna see boobs or butts this weekend. I'll see butts if I wanna see butts. And Jake is here because he's my friend and he really wanted to come. No, he's up to something. He's probably here to arrest Chuck. I would never arrest Chuck, but I mean, why'd you say that? What did Chuck do? Well. Cops always be copping. That's not true. I do bad things. One time I illegally downloaded an O-Town album. Dang, that's one of the hardest boy bands. Exactly. They're scary. Hello. Hey, you're Bianca, right? Mm-hmm. I'm Jake. I'm a friend of Freddy's from work. I'm looking for him. Well, which Jake are you? Are you Jakey Lady Hands? Or are you Jakey the Jew? Well, it feels weird saying this, but I hope Jakey the Jew? Mm -hmm. Jake Peralta. Freddy actually said I should come by here if I was ever in trouble. Oh, okay. Well, Freddie was here, but he left. But come in, come on in. I've got the address somewhere. Hold on. So did he say where he was heading, or? I heard about you, Peralta. I know you were the rat. Get him up. Get your hands up. <laughs> yeah, lady hand. I really don't think anyone in the crew would have done it. We're like a family. Yes, and as someone who's about to marry into that family, so to speak, I tend to agree with you, Sarah. It seems highly unlikely anyone from the crew or producers would be involved. Hey, Sarah, what's the status on the toilet seat heater for my trailer? It's day four of cold butt cheeks going on over here. I'm sorry, but this is official police business. You putting the screws to work? I got this. Sarah, you're a PA. What do you make a year? Two, three hundred thousand dollars? Thirty. Thirty hundred thousand dollars a year? Thirty thousand. Oh, ooh. And yet, Cassie Sinclair pulls down millions sitting on her butt while you bust your hump running her errands. I bet that makes you angry. Angry enough to steal her laptop? My gut says yes. OK, that's enough. You're right. He's not going to talk. Sometimes I wonder why I do this job. You don't. Oh, here she is. Do you mind if I slyly mention you're single? Do not do that. You won't even notice. Hey, you needed to see me again? Rose is single. What? Ignore him. We left a dry cleaning bag in your back seat. Oh, uh, I didn't see anything, but you can take a look. The veil's not here, Rosa. We're so screwed. Hold on. Don't freak out. Gentlemen. What's up? So, how's it going? It's good. It's really good. Uh, keeping a low proof. No contact with Brooklyn. No one's questioned our identities. Definitely staying off the net. <laughs> right, Craig? Right. That's it? That's all you have to say to me? Yeah, I think we're good. So nobody's going to ask me how I'm doing? Oh, I didn't think this was a personal conversation. It's not. Turn back around and watch the movie. This is official business. I was just testing you because Greg is the kind of person who cares about his friends and can sense when something is off with them. Is something off with you, Marshall Haas? I don't know. I mean, I met someone, OK? And um, I mean, it's not my husband. I mean, nothing's happened yet, but my entire body is on fire. He's Cuban. Is this still official business? Of course it is. Shut up and watch the movie. Yeah. Pop quiz. If Larry were married and everything was fine, and I mean, honestly, everything is totally fine, sure. but he knew that one night with this person could give him everything he needed for the rest of his life. Would he do it? Yes. Yes? Good. What if this person that Larry met was young? I mean, really young. Well, I don't think Larry would do anything illegal. You know, it seems to me Larry has needs and deserves to have those needs 
met. Greg, you're really great at being undercover. Now you both passed the test. Marco! Vamanos! After that, the judge just threw it out on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> that judge has a deep voice, right? I'm gonna go uh, check out the food. Hey, bet you five bucks you can't guess three of the hors d'oeuvres they're serving. I'll take that action. Chicken satay, tuna tartare, shot glasses of gazpacho. Satay, tartare, no spotch. Where's the spotch, Hoitzman? Yes! Spotch! No! Well played. Unless you want to go double or nothing. I'm listening. Oh, nothing but glass. <sighs> I'll bet you can't guess how tall the Sarge is. In egg rolls. 24, exactly 25 egg rolls tall. Celebration egg roll. Hey, man, that was on the floor. You're on the floor. 60 bucks says you can't remove one glass without knocking the whole thing over. You didn't say I couldn't grab the top one. Hundred bucks says I can jump from the roof and survive. Oh, I don't think you <laughs> Just messing with you, Peralta. I gotta hit the head. Oh, then we'll bet on who can shove more shrimp in his mouth. You're on. I got a big mouth, though. You're in trouble. This better be good. I'm a busy man. You just spent 30 minutes trying to win a radio contest. For my wife. The Giving Waste wants giving tickets. I'm not really Greg, and that's not Larry. We're Captain Raymond Holt and Detective Jake Peralta of the NYPD. We've been targeted by Jimmy the Butcher Figgis, the Mafia boss. We're in witness protection, and that is the full truth. <laughs> good one. <laughs> That's a good one. Just call the US Marshal who handles our case. She'll explain everything. She? <laughs> Come on. This is getting crazier by the second. But I'll tell you, I kind of want to see how it plays out. I have 85. Do I have 90? I have 90 from the man with the face at table four. This is terrible. You don't know what you're doing. Adam Sandler? Yeah, that's right. I collect antiquities. I'm a serious person. I'm writing a movie right now about the Russian Revolution. Oh, really? Who does Kevin James play in it? Uh-huh. It's a serious movie. Trotsky. Ah, there it is. But he's got a wife who never wears a bra. I think you're going to like it. Thanks for dressing up, by the way. All right, back to this plate. I think you could use it for a variety of things. New item up there. Uh, how much you guys want to pay for me to stick my socks in this moron's mouth? I will. Did football legend Joe Theismann just bid $1,000 to put a sock in my mouth? You bet. OK, but let's get it going a little Seriously, higher. Seriously, back to the porno plate. Uh, 1200 bucks. Plate sock in the mouth. Bird. Boom. OK, the idiot Good gets Greek the sock in the mouth. For, I'd say 1300 would be even better. 1300 Joe Theismann coming in uh, strong. I got 1300 25000 and a one. Oh, I got a two. And a boom. Sold to Joey Theismann. Jake Peralta, NYPD. Pleasure to meet a colleague. Colleague? Dude, read the jacket. Homeland. We're not on the same level. Wow. That was incredibly rude. No, 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 no. I've always admired people who decided what they wanted to be when they were six years old and never wavered. Bus drivers, ice cream men, princesses. So when exactly did you decide you wanted to be a butt? Was it college? Law school. Just want to let you know that I went to law school. At Butt University? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm standing up for us. Don't worry about it. That guy doesn't matter. All right, everybody take their seats. My name is Agent Kendrick, Homeland Security, and I am in charge here. Sarge, I was wrong. He totally matters. This year's scenario, terrorists have stormed the Capitol Trust Bank building and have taken hostages. Noise. Oh, cool trick. I don't have a ton of free time to practice high-fiving. You just made fun of us for that. For practicing. That's the first time we've ever tried it. Here are your assignments. Yeah. Are you danger? Jack, danger. It's actually pronounced donger. It's derived from a Dutch word meaning prudence in financial matters. Oh. Jack donger. Hmm. Also cool. Have a seat. I understand you need a little help from the big boys here at USPIS. USPIS? Yeah. US Postal Inspection Service, founded by Benjamin Franklin in 1772, undoubtedly a great man's greatest accomplishment. Are you aware that he helped popularize Parmesan cheese in America? I am. USPIS is the crown jewel of the law enforcement system. 1,200 inspectors tackling everything from mail fraud to the shipment of contraband fruit. And, of course, occasionally assisting our little brothers in the police department. Little brothers? Well, I am a federal agent. You're just 
the local cop. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, we're here because we found this key. Whoa. Yes. This sexy beast was used to open a type of mailbox we actually haven't used in years. However, there are a few around town that were never removed. Real beauts. I could find out where they are and send you the locations. That would be great. Here, my email is... Ah! <laughs> no email. <laughs> I'll send it to you with our mail, which is to say real mail, because email has put hundreds of my coworkers out of work. How would you like it if they laid off all of your fellow detectives and partnered you with a RoboCop? I've literally drawn sketches of that. The robot has a backpack that can carry me. You know I'm playing hardball, except for that the balls are questions. And here they come. What kind of car did Robert drive? Also, Dana from the bar, what color was her hair? And which night does the cleaning crew sterilize your office? And have you ever been up to where the body was found? And when you left your phone at the office, was it plugged into your computer or an outlet? And did you kill him? And what did your cab driver look like? This seems like a huge waste of time, but here you go. Robert drove a sob, Dana's hair was blonde and sterilized on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I haven't been to Vernon in 20 years. The phone was plugged into the wall. No, I didn't kill him. And the cab driver had a beard and the earring. I'm sorry I didn't get his license number. Wow. Very impressive. Yeah. You didn't fall for my did you kill him gambit. No. Although it is interesting that you knew the body was found in Vernon, New York, when that information hasn't been released to the public. Well, hello, Dolly. That room gets clean when I say it gets cleaned. You can't stop us now. You ever heard the old saying, know the garbage, know the man? That's not a saying. Yes, it is. I know all your secrets. Boyle, you got a taste for fast food. <laughs> Those aren't mine. I only eat locally sourced meats. There could be Terry's. He was fat once, you know. What the hell, Boyle? Speaking of Jeffords. Maybe your daughters would like to know that their daddy throws away all their drawings. And he just draws so many, and they're all so bad. And you, Santiago. Maybe the world would like to see that draft of a memo you wrote where you use T-H-E-I-R instead of T-H-E-R-E. -E. Oh, you sick son of a bitch. Why do you hate us so much? I know you call me mean, Marge. Do you even know my last name? Hmm? Mop bucket? Scully, don't guess. Oh, God, please. No. I, 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 oh. My bucket, Scully! It's an educated guess. Hello, I'm your new commanding officer, Captain Seth Dozerman. My motto is simple. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. Could probably just say it once. Are you making fun of my stutter? Oh, uh... Tripped you. I don't have a stutter. Boom. I've already established my authority through my amazing sense of humor. Well done, sir. Welcome to the 9-9. I'm Sergeant Terry Jeffers. And I'm not interested. I have no use for people. I find people weird and confusing. I live my life by numbers. You see this watch? It tells me how many calories I burn at any time. Question, how many calories do you think I burned walking from there to there? You, female, closest to me. Oh, uh, three? Three? Ah! <laughs> Try 0 0.8, numbnuts. I made promises to my superiors that I most certainly cannot keep. That's why I need you idiots to work twice as hard. No, 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 strike that four times as hard. No, 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 strike that. I need you morons to work eight times harder than you've ever worked in your entire life. I'm having a heart attack. Yeah, I'm having a heart attack. Get back to work. Get a doctor! It's weird, my dad's here. Hey, do you mind staying out here with me to talk to him? Um, yes, of course, whatever you need. Haha, <laughs> your face. No, man, you've done enough. Get out of here. Oh, thank God. Good luck. Hello? What are you doing here? I wanted to say I'm sorry. I reacted poorly last night. This is all new to me. I know. But it's also not new, you know. I'm still the same person I always was. Well, I don't feel I know that person. Dad. My fault, not yours. I want you to be able to tell me everything. I can't promise you I'll understand. But I'm trying. I want you to know that I accept you for who you are, and I love you very, very much. I love you, too. So, have you been on any dates with women yet? Dad, we didn't talk about my dating life before. We don't need to talk about yeah. it now. Good, good, you're right. <laughs> hey, I'm in a bind. I need your help. That's what friends are for. Well. 
Friends might be a bit of a stretch. I mean, you're a cannibal that ate six people. Nine and a half. Yet worse. Anyway, here are my options. A, I keep pestering Romero to tell me where the drugs are. He realizes I'm a snitch, and then he castrates me and kicks me to death. That's not great. What's option B? I back off Romero, never find out where the drugs are. The warden tells everyone I'm a snitch, and then Romero castrates me and kicks me to death. Mm. Both options sound... A little castrate yeah. yeah, that's what I keep bumping up against, too. Well, you know, whenever I'm backed into a corner, I just do what I do best. <laughs> I drive across country, forge a new identity, and then take a job as a camp counselor. Oh, my God. Caleb, you're a genius. I wouldn't say genius. That camp ran a pretty extensive background check. No, not that. Your past is a straight-up nightmare. But I need to do what I do best. Be a cop, work the case, and figure out where the drugs are on my own. Then you tell the warden, and the warden will bust Romero. And Romero won't think I'm a snitch, because he never told me where they are. All right, this is gonna be tough. I'm really gonna have to thread the needle. Oh, I got really good at threading needles. Back when you were making your skin suit, I know. Look, I like being friends with you, but you have to stop bringing that up. But we're friends. <laughs>